Hey, Active Investor here bringing you another independent analysis. This time we're taking a look at ticker symbol ELTP, that's Elite Pharmaceuticals. The chart we're looking at here today is a one hour chart, each candlestick on this chart representing one hour of trading. We go back to the 20th of last month, actually the 17th of last month on that very last candle right here, and then this is the 20th here, and then so on and so on and so on. So we have a pretty good amount of data here. And this thing is starting to look really well. We just broke a key level of resistance today. That key level of resistance being 36 cents. That's this top line right here. The line right down here, 33 cents. This is the key area of support that needs to hold for this uptrend to continue. So since we're above 36 cents and that was our old resistance, it should now be support as technical analysis goes, prior areas of resistance can become support. And if the trend is strong, that's indeed what will happen here. Now, let's say hypothetically that this support breaks. We do have some pretty good trailing support on our averages here. Those averages being the 10 and 20 period simple moving averages. You can see that the stock has played pretty well to them this entire time, the last few days, the last week or so, kind of bouncing off those 10 and 20 period averages. But if that resistance, or rather if that support doesn't hold, it is soft trailing support. The next area would be this yellow line. That's our 50 period moving average. And that 50 period average has been tested multiple times here. And it did break down here, but came back up, kind of held the levels there. So indeed, we can uh, kind of bounce off this 50 period average. And the 50 period average does indeed act as pretty good support on many different stocks. So even if we break 36 cents, we have some pretty decent support before we hit 33 cents. Now, if 33 cents breaks, the whole trend is gonna be looking uh, pretty much ruins, but I don't think that's too likely. This thing is showing that it's pretty bullish. Let's take a look at our relative strength index down at the bottom, get an idea of how bullish it is. So I'm gonna make a line to where we went oversold. Interestingly enough, taking us right to that Dragonfly Doji. And the previous oversold point right here. So we have a much higher oversold point, indicating that when the stock sold off, people were still willing to pay a premium over here than over here. So pretty solid uptrend. Take a look at where we went overbought this time. So overbought over here on that red candle, and we went overbought here on this red candle. Well, you know what, let me make that a little more neat. Right, so right around there. And as you can see, also higher overbought area, indicating that when the buying pressure was coming in, we were at a premium here as well. So all the averages are looking really good. We have that bullish order with the 10, 20, and 50 period all above each other. So 10 and 20 periods uh, ago are still trading higher than 50 periods ago. Obviously that tells you that the trend is up. So we have those averages looking really well, also trailing support with them, and some good support here at 33 cents. And since we just broke this key area of resistance at the very end of the day, we now have some pretty good support at 36 cents, hopefully as well. Only one one hour candle to take a look at that though, rather to test it. So let's see how it plays out the rest of the week. If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave a message below. Love to hear what you guys have to say. This one actually just came on my radar recently. I'm not too familiar with ELTP, but it is looking like a pretty powerful stock now. I'm going to be watching it the rest of the week, and I'm curious to see how it plays out. If you guys want to join in on the play with us, you're welcome to take a look at our chat room at activeinvestors.net, and we'll see you there. Have a good one.